Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, what's up? What's good? Oh, it's yeah. your boy, uh, Dirtbag Dan, here with uh, the one and only Super Duper Asim. Um, Sharing the link. I'll take it over right quick. Cool, tight. Yeah, do that. Lily's here, too. The one and only. <laughs> She's just licking elbows and shit. Get out of here, Lily. Go over here. Go lay down over there. What up? Over there. Thank you. So, um, fucking Comcast hits me up today, tell me they need fucking permission from the owner of the building before they can install the shit, which is, uh, I don't know the fuck, why? But whatever, <laughs> um, I figured instead of not doing a podcast tonight or not going live, I'd bring SM over to the pad since we got the internet here and we just do it here. Right. Yee. So what's good? What's good? Tranquil Blue, Grouch, Yee. Um, I'm glad the picture's good. Uh, internet quality is good. I mean, um, Friday, hopefully, we'll have the uh, legit setup for the show cracking. So, but uh, we got SM here, man, and uh, it's it's a very special SM special. Uh, wanted to fucking talk Shame. with the boy about past battles, about the battle you just did, and about future battles. Um, but uh, first and foremost, fucking, how you doing today, big dog? Um, I'm doing good, man. I just fucking uh, started. My first day at my new job today. What? I'm a normal boy again. Working man, homie, out here getting that money. You know, just just in the Bay again, man. Oakland, yeah. back in Oakland. Got some work. Uh, ready to be out here. Ready to be cultured again. Mm -hmm. Inspired. Uh, I was just telling this fool on the way over here that uh, we're actually going to get a visit from uh, the one and only everybody knows this week. Uh, I got my dude coming down to work on some very special music video projects with me. And uh, we'll definitely do a stream while we're here. And uh, Essam will probably be there too because he's going to be in the city. So um, expect a little extra content from the boys with uh, your everybody's favorite Hawaiian. Everybody knows. Yeah. Um, EK, shout out EK. We were talking big about the... Uh, incredible battle on the last episode. We were breaking down the whole fucking thing. Oh, I actually seen it. I, I turned red. Oh, you get all fucking, you get all blushy. I got, I got, my cheeks were. Uh, I think um, Cody called you a dumpster fire. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, so accurate. <laughs> um. So what? Uh, did, were you expecting? Was it like the the incredible performance that you expected? He he, fuck or inspected. Expected. He definitely fucking brought it. I wasn't. I, I'm always like. To be honest, uh, uh, it's always like uh, for me. I don't know if it's like. Uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of battlers feel this way, but I always feel like my opponents bring their best against me personally. Like yeah. whenever they come against. Well, it's, it's. It sounds like maybe a little cocky, but. Nah, uh, baby. It's just I be studying my. Uh, I don't study my opponents. Don't fucking. <laughs> I don't do shit. Nah, um, you could tell it was uh, he wasn't gonna fucking come to play. I think it has everything to do with you as an opponent, and then also fucking. I watch my, you know, because I watch my opponents and shit prior and shit like, uh, and I always feel like this dude's fucking trash. This dude is hey, terrible. Uh, you like the fucking shirt, guys? Repping the boy boys out here. Repping the boy boys. Is that rid? Is yeah. that right? Yo, what up, young? Ruin Shout your day. Ruin your day, man. Much ruin, love. Ruin your day was bragging. Yeah, we dropped the first battle today. If you didn't see it, uh, Father Focus versus Conflict. It was a dope fucking tryout yeah. battle. Um, I wish all tryout battles could be that dope. And um, it, it, the footage is fucking beautiful. Avocado, Clayton, Ben killed it. Uh, love those motherfuckers. Nice. So, um, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I was thinking like incredible. Not only does he like always bring it but he he's he's very as soon as we pulled that belt out mm -hmm. things fucking changed man yeah, as far as he, like he wants to be the champ and you he, can tell every he time he killed it man like i feel like like i'm not mad if people think like he won you know i just the only reason like i fucking went and like i was a little extra because i felt like i was under under prepared a little bit i had material but it just wasn't fully locked and i had to like pull some shit i even uh I almost recycled things, but I'm glad I didn't have to. Man, I fucking... Uh, I'm glad I didn't have to recycle. I always things. can't tell if you're fucking 
unprepared or playing unprepared. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I can tell when you're unprepared, like, or I can tell when you're just like fucking zooted. Had, like when you battle oh, Patron, you're out of your fucking mind. Geez. But um, I had I, three rounds for incredible. I had that's what I was gonna say. It seemed like you had three rounds. I had three rounds. It just wasn't fully locked because I had battled in Toronto the week before, and when I when I did the math, I miscalculated and thought. Uh, that's I thought Ruin Your Zay was two weeks later, uh, and that's always enough time for me. Who did weeks. you battle in Toronto a week before? Uh, the homie Sweeney. He's from like uh, Philly by way of uh, for what league? Uh, uh, Beast Mode for Beast Mode. My okay, homie, fire. You know, Smitty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah fucking yeah, a. Shout out Smitty. to Beast Mode. That's tight. There. Shout out to them. Oh, yeah, that fucking a. Fun time, man. I don't know. I had no idea you went out to fucking Toronto the week before yeah, the man, event. It was uh, that's crazy. That's why. Uh, yeah, that's why I landed in Frisco that day. You got me. The Uber oh yeah, 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 yeah. No doubt. I forgot about I that. I ran shit. into fucking Bret Hart and didn't get a picture. <laughs> the fucking this will hits me up like three days before the event and he's like, Hey, can you give me an Uber from the airport? And I'm, in that <laughs> so I'm like, what? All right, <laughs> fine. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> fucking, I'll see you in a few days. Yeah, I was like, fuck it, I'd rather I might as well just stay out here for the event, you know, the whole I landed last week. EK and- said, you want to read the short story of the 21st century? Read it? Yes. Where is it? I don't know. He's probably going to send it to me. Yes. He's also been it. telling me all day that he's seen a tweaker that looks like Frack <laughs> and that like we can never let Frack become a tweaker or move to Portland because it's so sad. <laughs> yes, I'll read it. EK, where is he? Is he uh, in there? Uh, but yeah, no, you. Feel, uh, it felt like you had three rounds for that battle. Yeah. Um, and did I, you plan the fucking mm, what? No. That's it. That was freestyle. Had, that's dude, that's my favorite shit. I had a ever. bunch of freestyle shit in there for sure. Most of my third was freestyle, to be honest. Like, um, but it was a lot of fun and incredible. Just I felt like he had a lot of good shit in there, man. That that uh, acting high class, like plastic wine glass. Was Ooh. Fire. Damn. He said that. Acting high class like a plastic wine glass. And he meant that and he wrote that and he kept that. Man. That shit, it was good, man. He, so uh, look, uh, uh the boy. Mad Flex is talking like that. He thinks that that's the dude that should go for the title next. I mean, I feel like reverse is a little more. Well, reverse was the one that that everybody went and uh, voted for, already. but reverse actually said he would like to see Incredible. Mad Flex defend. Before he battled him, like if if okay. Madflex defends, then he would battle Madflex for the belt. But like, and then if he didn't, then he would battle who else that ever got it. But he didn't want to be the first battle that Madflex did with the belt because they had done a battle. It before. could be incredible. It could be. That's, um, what's his name? Uh, fucking. Who else is Laughing Stock was saying that it's it's you because you won the rookie <laughs> rumble. Laugh as long as just being. No, but I remember the the idea behind the Rookie Rumble was that the winner of the Rookie Rumble would be in a title contention match. Yeah. And then so, like, realistically, but, it should be whoever won between you and Incredible. Like, if that's, like, a thing. But we didn't judge that battle. I'm yeah. certainly not going to do a fucking online poll for that battle. I just feel like, I just feel like, uh, like, if I'm being real, like, I don't – I haven't had as much polished performances as other people. I feel like there's a couple more people uh, – before me, like Patron, incredible. I think incredible or Patron, yeah. right? And I think yeah. that uh, I think that you kind of give the champ the choice. And also, so I'm f- scared of Matt Flex. I'm, <laughs> I'm not gonna battle Matt Flex. I hey, want, Mikey! I, I want somebody to beat Matt Flex, oh. and then I'll battle them. But that's never gonna happen. So I'm never gonna be champion. Fuck, man! D- don't say never. Never say never, man. I don't know, like, cause if it's weird, cause like, it's certainly. <clears throat> I don't know. It might have felt like you were edging the incredible battle in the building, but then I could totally see going back and watching it and being like, because I didn't even remember this will said you were acting high class like a plastic wine glass. I bet you he has a bunch of tight ass shit like that Bro. that just gets lost in like his performance. And then you, him. like the shit I remember from you mostly is probably the shit you freestyle. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like, it's weird. And then in the building, it's like, it seems hella tight, but then doesn't carry as much weight on the fucking video it's just like i was saying like fat 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 gap 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 like that kills it in the building but then no people hate me online because they're like that's so stupid right? like, if you like were there you would have loved it you know what I mean? a lot of people like think i wanted to hit me up but like i feel like a lot of people also think incredible and that's what i mean that's what makes a good battle you know? yeah fuck yeah no 100 percent. it was uh it was I, definitely a good back i think incredible for sure outwrote me but for like but for me, like when I'm like under that type of pressure, when I feel like just like not confident in my shit, like 
that's when I like kind of, that's when I become that person you've seen. I kind of, you know, pull some shit out of my ass. Hey, that oh. was that was tight. That was tight. That was uh, like I, I was saying the other day. That was except for the Patron bat, I was just on that. So that's the kind of uh, unprepared oh. SM I want to see right there. <laughs> I want to see that. I want to see the unprepared SM that like. Like uses like the fear of the moment to eke yeah. out this, thing. and do I say that shit all the time? Uh, or I used to like. Um, there was like years where I never choked in a battle, mm -hmm. and it was all the way up until the clips battle. Um, I never like just ran out of uh, energy mm -hmm. or bars in a battle, and the reason was is because I was so scared of fucking up that the fear of yeah you know, would drive you to come up with some fucking amazing ass shit. Most I guess or it doesn't. You know what I mean? Like one of two things happens. And it always, for me, it always worked one way. I would always be like, fuck, I don't know what I do. And then I get in the ring and I just magically come up with some shit. But I, then I'm one day you, it didn't work. <laughs> you know what I mean? What's it like? Is it considered a choke if you just freestyles on garbage? Because I guess I didn't know. <laughs> if you say I fucked up, if you say yeah. the words I fucked up, then. And, you, I, and I've had a couple of those. If like, you say I fucked up, then it's a choke. That's what out, I think. Shout out Incredible, man. He's, he's amazing. Incredible! So, yeah. Um, uh, like, I think, okay, like, I think uh, the only times where I've choke choked is when, like, I knew I had material, like, buy your material and you couldn't computer. come up with it in your head and I, yeah and i want to spit it so i'm i'm, I'm be, like I don't you refuse to freestyle. to freestyle yeah and so that's the times where i made myself and made people are like head. well just freestyle just freestyle and in your head you're like bro if you knew how good this fucking written shit was you would not want me to freestyle right now that you want me to me, get this shit down happened to me in the pnr event like i knew i had some fire i choked i choked for like i stood there for like two minutes and then I should tell everyone like, I brought it back. Like I brought it back my shit and like it was a, uh, you know, I still kept the crowd going or whatever. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah. So um what do you think uh if 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 it's not Mad Flex next, what what battle do you think? What who do you look at? in the scene and <laughs> think that you want to have a battle with and i'm not and i don't just mean like bots cats i mean like anybody yeah. anywhere that you think like because that at, at the end of the day the best battles are the ones where there's motivation on both sides where that people like actually want to battle that person either because they think they're tight they like them or they don't like them and they want to fucking prove to everybody that they're not that tight. i'm not i'm not like saying that i wouldn't ever battle my colleagues it's just that i want i'd want to be like super prepared for like he would challenge me to fucking you know and i i guess i need that you know i need a challenge to fucking make me right and make me prepare it's just the thing that it's not the opponents that have me inspired so much it's just being drained from doing it so much and like yeah because you do a lot of battles this is what i was saying too is is that the the like um yeah not to like tear place you but like the mid tier guys that have some like level of, of popularity work, work a lot more than like the top tier guys yeah, because the top sure. tier guys are only going to take certain battles. Yeah. And then like the low tier guys are going to take whatever battle they get when it comes along. But the guys like you who like people know, like in fools, like leagues from like beast mode will put you on a plane. And have you come out to battle? Mm -hmm. Like there's more opportunities for you to do that and than I there is be, for the average person. I want to be like just a dude that rep that battles like two times a year. I want to be at that point, you know, but it's just like, uh, I don't know. Fucking, I would want to, like I'm, I, like, I'm legit taking a break. Like, like, you know, I might take the full year off. I think I am. You might take all of 2019 off? Yeah. Damn. And make music. Okay. Like, I'm, like, at least I want to take six months, but I'm, <laughs> I want to do the full year, and uh, let's do this. Just come back let's fucking. That's fuck. You're gonna want to do the next bots event, <laughs> which is gonna be six event six months from now. You know what I mean? Like you're gonna want to do the summer bots event. You're not gonna want to not do that's the summer bots event. So like, if you don't battle till then, that that fucking would be a long ass break. Could be. But I'd be big. I'd be real big surprised if I hit you up in five months to do a battle. And you're gonna be like, no. You're probably gonna be like, fuck yeah. We'll just see how I feel, I'm yeah. feeling. Yeah, but I'll, I'll I'll certainly try to get you on that card. But if you took the whole year off, fuck it, man. Like, there's um, we're we're putting an emphasis on the music, uh, 
in the future. I actually, this is the the best year in music for me as far as like my numbers go and Spotify and everything like that. Yeah. Um, and production of music. I've never put out this much music in a year. Yeah. I did the. And I've been around for a good percentage of it. A hundred percent. Yeah. You've been, you've been a part of every project we've done. You did the yeah. beats for the DVD show EP. Right. Um, uh, you were, uh, we on the MP4 stuff with me. Yeah. Um, and then fucking we're doing the, uh, got what, the exclusive death dealers. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. That, that's the death dealer shit is, is wild. And I can't wait to drop that. And that'll make three, two, one mm-hmm. album and two EPs that I've dropped this year. And then a ton of features. Yeah. So like, I, and then we dropped a bunch of music videos from Cody. Cody's been working on a bunch of products. Uh, I'd like to have like, if you take the year off, there, it's not like these fools ain't gonna see you because you'll be dropping music videos on our awesome. channel constantly, like, whole album. I'm gonna do projects, man. I want to drop some projects this year. I drop nothing. I drop like a, a song or two, a couple songs this past year. It's just I think I mean uh, I want to do full some full EPs and mixtapes. Most of us I got into music to fucking uh, got into battling to promote music, right? Yeah. Was that the story for you? Yeah, when I was doing, I was just rapping before battling making music or whatever. But Did you start to battle because you thought it would be a way to promote the music or were you just like, I wanted to get in there and fucking rip people's heads off? Because for me, it was nah. like, I battled in like freestyle battled as a kid because that was the only way to get on a mic. It wasn't a, yeah, it wasn't a full um, promotion thing. It was more like, yeah, this is fucking, I love, I love battles. I'm watching it so much. <laughs> I guess you try it out. So I guess the reason that I had it wasn't like that for me is because I had no reference for battles. Like we started the popular form of acapella <laughs> yeah. battling with those first grind time events. So like the only ones that existed before the ones I did were like the, the no, not well. There was I mean that's like freestyle battles. I'm saying like the only the acapella battle. battles oh, that okay. exist were like the Smack DVD shit yeah, yeah. and uh, fucking the Lions Den. Not yeah, there. well that but even then that was like the only thing we really had as an example was Florida's like 20 or 30 uh, grind time battles that oh, were just so done in those mean, leagues before they came over. And that's what we were looking at when we were like, uh, you know, eventually all those dudes came down. We all, we battled like Knowledge Medina and Johnny yeah. Storm and all, like all those people made a trip. So those are our only reference. So it was just music for me. It was just like, okay, I'll start doing this again because this will be the way that I'll get people to know about my music. And then eventually it became clear that it was yeah. like, oh, more people are liking the battles than anything else. So that's what For I sure. I mean, that that was definitely like in – it was always in my head, you know, the music thing. Like, yeah, obviously I would see uh, I would see how I was working for uh, people like Dumbfounded mm-hmm. and Grand Time and, like, you know, I was listening to Satire stuff, you know, and making them and then fucking uh, – <clears throat> but like my main reason was just like I love, you know, battling. I always seem to like separate from music for me, which is why my music is completely different. From yeah, we were talking music. about that too, about how your battles are like um, not necessarily complex. <laughs> like your approach is very like Where, yeah. uh, like straightforward. Way more like me when I battle. That's what I would do as I was going yeah. for straight laughs, big punchlines. Yeah. But then when you write, your music is super so complex. Cool. Like yeah. way more cool. like a like a Earl sweatshirt in like the Definitely. kind of like yeah, complexity of the bars as opposed to like um just going for like you rarely do big punchline bars yeah. and battles. It's a lot more like fucking uh it's just like I don't know fucking um I forgot what I was gonna say, but. It's because we'd be high and fucking drinking hella shit. But, I don't smoke. But you get that contact from just sitting in the whip yeah. with the kid. But I'm running things. Oh, I'm yeah. running things. <laughs> I was definitely a big influence there. And, uh, you know, people like, like doing this shit. People like, I'm on my self deprecation shit when it comes to, well, in battles too, you know, sometimes here and there. But, yeah, fuck. I mean, um, uh, I don't know. You do you do a lot of braggadocious ass shit too, though. Right? Yeah, it's yeah, like the yeah. same thing. Well, it's like, make sure I'm yeah. just the unorthodox boy. Mm. <laughs> um, what are you working on music wise right now? I grab a pipe. I'm actually uh, I produce like a whole fucking. I must have like eleven tracks with DK. Probably twelve tracks done or maybe. What is it, DK? We got like fucking. Eight, I want to say eight the least. 
You have like <clears throat> a bunch of shit already done with PK? Produce them. I sent them a whole bunch of beats. He fucking knocks them out in oh. like a day and fucking. Like, he sent me so he sent me so far eight tracks that I had, and on, it's on some it's that gloom bap shit. You know we're 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 on the gloom bap shit. Where I think if it's That's still the nice. same, uh, <laughs> 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 I think uh, we're planning on calling it the uh, Bros Gloom or something like that. That's tight. You know, a little, little gloomy. Uh, so you on the production and yeah. EK on the rapping, or are you yeah, going to be on? I'm, a, I'm gonna get on a couple of verses too. That was the plan. It's just that he's he's dropping his auto tune first. Uh huh. He's waiting on the Esquire. Uh, fucking. That's tight. He's waiting Mr. on the on the Mr. Esquire joint. Esquire uh, to confirm with Distro Kid. Fire. Yo, Esquire, if you're watching, I know you're watching, bro. I know you're watching Don't this. Fucking confirm right now. <laughs> he, hit me up, he hit me up yesterday. Yo, have you confirmed with Distro Kid? And I said, Yeah. He's like. Oh, then it's fucking X Choir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so like he's he's got to the features got to confirm yeah, that they. Yeah, I did it with. Uh, I don't know if Ruin Your Day asked you to hit up. Uh, God damn it, Distro Kid. This shit is so clogged. I had to hit him with the with the DM like yo, confirming this feature or whatever the fuck on this song. Um, no, but I mean I don't know. Fucking yeah, they 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 have my implicit permission to do anything with yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. Ruin your day as all fucking dirtbag Dan rights reserved. Um, uh, speaking of, me and you keep dropping tight ass songs for the Ruin Your Day shit. Yeah. Huh? Mm-hmm. So we did low key, mm-hmm. and um, that was just like super random, right? Like we just went down to LA. You should tell them about that night. Yeah, we well we were fucking super fucking blasted off that fucking uh, you can't see the kid, and. Um, <laughs> And two bottles. They were on three bottles of Henny. We yeah, were, we got to we got to be there for two. Yeah, we got to be there for two. I didn't. Uh, uh, I didn't. Um, uh, like I don't typically drink Hennessy, and not a big fan of Hennessy. But I was fucking slamming that shit that night. Yeah, well, we had the Martinelli's to back it up. Um. Uh, look at A plus is asking Dan thoughts on hosting drunk. I'm incredible at it. Is that A plus, uh, A plus? Yeah, it's A plus, A plus. Yo, what up? Um, oh, uh, okay, so um, I probably shouldn't get so faded when I host battles, but I do such a fucking good job of it. I would say that if like the uh, event, if the events suffered greatly, then I'd, I'd certainly step back. But I'm just like, I'm just, I keep knocking these fucking things out of the park. <laughs> While I'm fucking shit housed, and uh, <laughs> man, I think people like it too. Like when I'm screaming at be nasty, fuck you in your face, I'm and I'm seeing, fucking. I don't know. I can't tell. Like uh, somebody asked me, well, what's Dirtbag Dan on right now?" At the, at the oh, man, movie. usually it'll be like if somebody fucking. I told him hemo rage. Oh man, I wish. I wish. <laughs> I wish. It's usually just the alcohol, and maybe like someone gave me a Norco, and I'm like fucking really just amped. Yeah. But I also just I love battling. I get real fucking excited about it, and um, so it's a mainly it's it's like a combination of uh, adrenaline, yeah. alcohol, and maybe just a little a painkiller or two, which is never <laughs> never I, something I fucking like hunt down. Someone will just be like, "Hey, you want one of these?" And I'll be like, hey, <laughs> "Don't try this at home, kids." Um, but yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. A plus. I should probably chill. <laughs> That's the moral of the story is I should probably chill. But we do these things where they serve hella alcohol. So a chia pet if it was made for drinks and sweat. Fire. Who said that? A hundred P, I don't know. Oh, is he saying that he said you look like a chia pet if it was made of grease and sweat? Yeah. Damn. The boy is murdering you in the chat right now. That's fucked up. You look like Don Marino. Uh you look like Don Cochino. Uh, but yeah no uh, uh, oh yeah yeah okay so it kind of fucks with the battles at times yeah for sure I think that's just like uh, part of bots I guess is that you have to deal with my fuck shit Um, A plus favorite ingredients in a burrito he said bruh I'm from I'm an Oakland boy uh huh you know I grew up fucking screw up just fucking asada or carnitas. Basic asada, mm-hmm. 
I like I like El Pastor too once mm -hmm. in a while. Mm -hmm. As just asada, cilantro, rice beans, crema. Do not forget the crema. Uh -huh. That's some Oakland Bay shit. I, mm -hmm. I moved to fucking Fresno, middle of nowhere. These fools are looking at me crazy because I'm asking. I have to ask for crema in my burrito. Yeah, because they don't just. You can't just yeah. say super and it's gonna be in there yeah. no matter what. And they fucking put uh, oh, repollo in that shit. What's the repollo fucking? Uh, they put fucking cabbage in it. Ah, oh, what the fuck is that? Pissed. What is that? Just your basic. Yo, one time meat, I got a fucking beans, uh, rice, cilantro, onions, crema, cheese. One time uh, I was with avocado and we got a fucking burrito in Kensington Market in Toronto. And I swear to God, it fucking it was ground beef. It had fucking um uh fucking like crunchy lettuce in it. Oh my god! And fucking there was like ketchup. What the? Fuck? Yeah, it was like it was it was a, it was a fucking trash hipster burrito in the fucking. Uh, in, in in the like hippie part of uh, Toronto, I was not stoked. That's a handsable offense. But they they did have a good burrito place right around the corner from uh, that Club XS. That was like some little fucking like underground spot that was pretty right tight. There in Toronto. But yeah, so they, it's not like Toronto has all bad burritos, but I had a really fucking bad one there. Um, in in San Jose, we got the orange sauce, and that's what the fucking that's where it's at. Anybody ever try the orange sauce? That shit is life. You know, it's funny, like, I, I pulled up to the Airbnb hella late, and there was just a bunch of the sauce left. Orange there. sauce just everywhere? And I had I had some fucking corn chips from the... And you put it in the orange... Dude, hella good. I was fucking... Yeah, Bro, I, like, I put... Okay, I put that orange sauce on pizza. I put that orange sauce on uh, hot dogs. I put that orange sauce... One of my favorite things to do with that orange sauce is, is when you have leftover spaghetti. Oh, you know how it kind of, like, dries the, yeah. the shit out? So you put the fucking... You heat up the spaghetti and then you fucking put the orange sauce in and it like adds like a, a fucking uh, creamy texture to it. Yeah, so it's so saucy spicy. again and it's spicy. It's fucking shit. I fuck with leftover spaghetti. Yeah, bro. With the orange sauce. Come on, man. Um, uh, one thing I was going to say about hosting drunk before I forget. Uh, <laughs> you notice, <laughs> I hope you notice that like during SM and Incredible, I'm fucking around. I'm like, fuck. Go Essen, stupid. Like, <laughs> yeah. no, his name's Paul. You know what I mean? I'm doing dumb shit like that. But when the title match came around, I chilled out on like the fucking like interjecting in the middle of rounds and shit like that because it's a title match and there's a little more on the line. And I figure it's not like I don't think SM, uh, SM and Incredible is an important battle. But if this fool's saying what, oi, huh, <laughs> to what boy, huh, oi, then I'm going to fucking throw in my little fucking two cents too. And that's just the way it works. Shout out my right. brother in the chat. Uh, yeah, fucking tacos from, um, we used to go to El Paisa in East Oakland in the Dubs. Oh, yeah. And where, what's, which across, one's El Paisa? Across the street from Goodwill. Oh, okay. Goodwill. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's where my pop stick is. Like, we went to the, they have like a full restaurant now there. And the owners like still recognizes us from like to this day. To this day. To this day. <laughs> still. <laughs> um, Shout out Junior, man. That's my brother. Uh, what about battling overseas? Um, I mean, I've only been to Toronto. No, I mean in England. Was that something that you want to do? Is that yeah. something that you would like make an exception for sure. in 2019 if you can get out to England? To and do answer your, your question from earlier, who was somebody? Uh, I see a lot of people uh, bringing up O'Shea, and like, why did you say O'Shea? You throw an A on the end of that? Is that how you not say O'Shea? It's O'Shea. It's O'Shea. It's O'Shea. 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 Ah. I like that. Let's call him O'Shea. O'Shea. From now on, it's O'Shea. O'Shea. Sorry, O'Shea. Sorry, O'Shea LaBeouf. O'Shea LaBeouf! That's O'Shea is fucking tight, bro. A lot, a lot He's, of he is a, a legend in yeah. battle rap. One of my favorite dudes and uh, one of the biggest personalities in this shit. Yes, and he's such a cool motherfucker to hang out with. You and O'Shea would be an awesome A lot battle. of people bring him up and... That would be an awesome I would be down, like, you know what I mean? Fuck, that would be sick. Chug beers and fucking... Oh, you would chug beers. And that <laughs> fool gets that fool gets <laughs> annihilated. When me and him battled the first time, and this was a long time ago, it was almost fucking 10 years ago now, but when me and him battled the first time, literally, like, we battled, I went to the bathroom, I came out of the bathroom, and this fool was blackout drunk. <laughs> like, he, like, in the time, in the five minutes it took me to take a piss and shake some yeah, hands, yeah. like, this fool had taken so many shots and whatever, he was just at the bar, <laughs> I was like, damn, that's incredible. I'm impressed. 
this fool, uh, this fool, uh, all right, Junior. I see you out there soon, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, fucking, uh, um, yeah. Oh, say, uh, say, like, what's funny is that I feel like recently maybe somebody might have told him about me because he just followed me out of nowhere on Instagram. Oh, that's that. Well, you're, you're, he requested me. you're right up his alley content wise. Where and he's, I'm, uh, I'm he's definitely like, like, like Frankie Frazier out there. That's the homie from okay. out there. He probably, I'm pretty sure, like, he, he's been spreading the word or whatever. But also, like, Canel. Have you heard of Canel? He, uh, uh-huh. He did a. Um, he recently did the um, a ruin your day little like with uh, I forget who. He oh, was it? Oh, uh, him and um, uh, what's his name? Uh, the dude who got married, most prop. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. And uh, yeah. Canel actually, well, like I was on Twitter talking about you know, can't wait to like take this break and shit. Twenty nineteen, he was like, he's like, you haven't even made it out to the UK. I'm like, nobody's hitting me up from up there, you know. Mm-hmm. And like he tagged a couple people and they're you know like. They gave me the eye emojis, like, you know, you know, and I'm just like, well, I didn't really respond though, but <laughs> I'm just like, if they want to fucking fly me out to the UK, I'm like, I don't know. If that's probably I think that, like, if you could do a premiere name. battle, that would be sick. I feel sure. like that's the league right now in the UK. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've been, uh, they've been cooking out there. I just think it's like, I love the move back to push battles. Their whole fucking thing is uh, regional, like, so the teams are regional. It's not like fucking rap groups where it's like, I like yeah. your fucking bars. So we're friends. Like these fools, like you, you live yeah, in this area. We yeah. are these dudes from this area. So like, if we like put together a, like a Bay team, you yeah. know, and send it out there, it would be like official be because dope. it would be like, you know, like you in reverse and somebody else versus yeah, three re- people from reverse just settled his whole yep. passport thing. Reverse passport shit is so settled we're too, officially so. a package deep. Oh, don't don't throw up when you say that. Sorry. Sorry. We're a package. Well, yeah. <laughs> now that would be sick, man. I, I that's that would be like a dream of mine uh, to to go uh, over to the UK with you guys. I mean, obviously, I don't want to get back in a battle, but I would love to just be there and like fucking um, maybe help out with the pay per view and, and Airbnb hosting Airbnb and shit. Airbnb. That that UK Airbnb, man, I fucking uh, haven't been to London in a long time. I think 2012 was the last time I was out there. I battled Archaic. Funny thing about that event, fucking Ed Sheeran was there judging battles. <laughs> I heard about that. That's so weird, bro. That. That's, That's so weird. Didn't and, and then I think Raz Ahmed did a fucking, uh, uh, yeah, he did a don't fought battle too. He like uh, actually did a battle. Well, he's he's like a rapper. Yeah, rapper, he right? did yeah. a fucking don't flop out. That's crazy. So fucking weird. That will rise on me, man. Yeah, it's so tight. Fucking um, uh, the night of. Uh, Watch the night of. It was incredible. He invented. Yeah, he was. <laughs> to be honest. I yeah, that was. I, I was a big fan. Um, so uh, what's up, Joshua Daly? Uh, we got Chop Liver, Zan Aykroyd, all the fucking usual suspects <laughs> are up in the fucking business. My We're man, my man Sasquatch, Sasquatch Josh. What's up, Sasquatch? Let's go. Let's go. Sweatshop Let's go. Oh, you know what we're going to do? Uh, we have some video questions. We're gonna actually going to answer some fucking video questions today. Right. So let's do that shit. Um, Shouts out. Uh, thanks for fucking hanging with us, guys, uh, while we wait for the internet to get set up at the studio. This actually worked really fucking well as far as like just coming to the pad and yeah, being alive. Man. This is a thing. Um, like I'm, I'm just running this shit on my own now and, and I'm finding that like we're going to get a lot more content because I'm used to waiting for people to fucking do shit. And if all I got to do is just like on my own, go grab SM and go fucking and turn the fucking camera on or whatever, like on my own fly EK out here for a couple days uh, on my own, drive to fucking uh, Hollister tomorrow to shoot music video shit. Like I'm a dude, Every day I'm going to be working on creating content for the fucking patrons because yeah. now we have almost 200 of them. It's like I got I got a real fucking job, baby, and I'm, gonna be, I'm working for you, motherfuckers. So, and yes, Pixie, we will be getting the uh, uh, Twitch shit going as soon as they fucking get the internet hooked up at the studio. The first thing I'm going to do is spend a whole day. Most mobs still most mobs switching out. Yeah, no, most mobs kicking it. They just shot a video for uh, Frack and um, Cody on Saturday. So that shit will drop uh, on our channel sometime in the near future. Uh, they also shot a video for Quest McCody and Marv One. Oh yeah. So there's that hasn't a drop? no, it hasn't dropped yet. They got a whole bunch of. They've been working on shit. They've kind of like they got 
you know, the kid is in school now, fucking uh, real jobs, real work shit. But uh, they're, they still want to be a part of the channel and they still want to help us create content, especially music video stuff. So that's kind of what they're going to be doing mostly. But um, yes, and it was for Drake's haircut. So yeah. yes. I was Drake's... supposed to be the love interest originally. But yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, they didn't call me. Well, they couldn't afford you, I think. Yeah. That's the thing. Yo, Blue, I'm taking a break, man. No, Nobody's the internet next. Yeah. That's um, that's going to be, it's going to, unless maybe we can get the, the boy out to the UK and then we can set up a battle with fucking a whole bunch of people in the UK yeah. that I could see you going against. That might be an exception. I think that will be an exception. Also, also BOTZ in the summer, but we'll see. We'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see what's good. Chief. We'll see what's good. What's uh, your thoughts on bodied? Oh shit! I've never talked to anybody about bodied on camera before. Yeah, man. I, I okay. So I just seen bodied with uh, Blue and uh, Pixie when he came down. We had some time, uh, like during the day, one of the days, and we watched Body. I'd never seen it before. I was bummed that I didn't get a chance to go see it in the theaters because I really wanted to see it with regular people. Uh, I watched. I watched it twice. I will say um, I, it's, it's super fucking impressive. The scale of it, the quality of it, as far as like the, you know, yeah. the, uh, it's just, it's a real fucking movie, man. It's, it's, it's a lot of our homies in a real fucking movie. My favorite parts are absolutely the battles. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely the, the battles. Way, the way they're filmed and everything too. So sick. Like, especially like the big T right off the bat doing like the TV. And like, sorry, I, yeah. I love all that shit. I thought that shit was incredible. Um, I think, like, as far as, like, the story goes, the fucking, the main character is, and his lady are so fucking unlikable. <laughs> it's like, it's so, I'm just like, fuck this bitch the whole time. So, especially, like. Especially the girl, yeah, she's, they made her that way, you know. She's, yeah, no, I know, I know. A lot of battle rappers have girlfriends like that. And I think, and, the, and then there are parts that I find just downright insulting to me. Because <laughs> I'm like, because I'm a battler, and I'm like, oh, you're just making fun of me right now. That's, okay. The main character is ATM. Ah, that's fucking hilarious. Um, but uh, that, I mean, like, I know that the movie was not made for me. You know what I mean? It was made for regular people, yeah. uh, not fucking people who have spent their whole lives in the world of battle rap. But there was a ton of things in it for people like me, like the phone call from fucking the promoter, which was like the, the total the lush, the lush, lush phone call. And there, there were so many things that were so specific to battle rap that it felt really fun as my, a battler. My, my to favorite watch. part, my favorite scene is a, uh, is an EK. I mean, EK. Yeah. EK should have been in there. Yeah. It's so when fucking uh, lush comes up to Adam, like to give him prompts. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, what about when fucking yo, Adam, <laughs> He killed it. I mean, like, what about when fucking um? <laughs> that's just hilarious. What about when Iron Solomon was like? Oh yeah, he's like when Iron Solomon was, was like, dick. my bitch was sucking dick. <laughs> Yo, if I was Iron Solomon, and they were like, "This is your line." I'd be like, mm, "No, it's not. I don't think it's gonna be that. Can it be this bitch wants to suck your dick? Because mm, I don't think I'm gonna do that." That's <laughs> Oh, geez, I bet you Iron Solomon wrote that line. <laughs> He's like, hey, I got an idea. My bitch wants to suck your dick. You're like, you're always coming up with the weirdest shit, Iron why doesn't Solomon. My, why doesn't in the scene my bitch... <laughs> why doesn't my bitch... Suck hey, his dick? I got an idea. Why doesn't my bitch... <laughs> want to suck his dick? Because dick I machine. would... If I was in this situation, <laughs> I would encourage such activity. <laughs> oh, my Lord. <laughs> my God. Uh, but, but... uh. But uh, Madness definitely played me. It's that was movie. fucking hilarious. Yeah. Madness was my favorite uh, and clearly the most experienced actor of all of the battle rappers. I mean, Did the Lord best job. Um, uh, although, uh, fucking... Billy Pistols? Uh, hilarious that that's fucking oh, Sharon. Um, this, this will, this there's will. so many things that were funny about that, too. I thought that Billy Pistols... I mean, it's obviously Billy Boondocks, but then we were saying, yeah. I think that... Andy Milanakis is like absurd. <laughs> that's fucking tight. So there's hella like people that I'm like, oh, these people, they're not getting yeah. that credit, man. That's them. That's that dude. Um, it was hella funny how, how Sharon just walks away when he gets killed by Adam, supposedly. Yeah. He walks away and he's, he's like, pistols. That's just a little corny. Pistols. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah um, uh, 
It was tight though. I mean, it's yeah, something to be. Good. It's something Overall. to be super fucking impressed. I saw. It, by. I saw it like. Uh, I saw it like. Like fucking straight out of Compton. It has his little. It has his corny parts. You know, his little cheesy. Yeah. But they, you know, they they meant to do it that way. They, exactly. They know what the fuck it, it was. But it's it's and then it, at the end of the day, you're thinking like, okay, this isn't for yeah. me. This is so everybody likes this thing, and yeah. yeah. I get, I get it, and I, I enjoy it for that reason too. So, um, Roan was Roan Carter Deems. Ah, uh, yes, a hundred percent. Oh my God, totally. Yeah. Roan was well. It, it wasn't so much that Roan was Carter Dean, uh, Carter Deems, but Roan was doing what Carter what Deems Carter Deems did. did. Like, like so, it was like very specifically like yeah. a reference to his battle with Bonnie. Yeah. But I don't think the character was like he yeah, was supposed to be because he didn't have like the the Carter Deems mannerisms. It yeah. was just like the scenario of like, okay, this is my angle. I'm going to try and marry yeah. this bitch. And that, okay, that was probably my favorite part of the movie when they were just showing the archetypes of the battlers. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. The episode conceited, artist and then conceited. Conceited, funny enough, was, was a comedian. Yeah. And then, and like, he's actually like... A Very bar heavy. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was funny. So like, I, I like that a lot too. A Madness was low Pesci. <laughs> I then he wasn't me. Oh uh, man, but the but yeah, Madness was really good. You could tell he's like an experienced fucking uh, yeah. actor, so he's got his fucking chops down with that shit. <laughs> Daylight, oh yeah, Daylight got Prince by Diz. I'm bummed Singleton. that uh, it didn't have quite the impact that I thought it was going to. As far as like, um, I was hoping that I would be able to go to movie theaters like in my own city and see it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that being said, like, I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. They got movies with fucking Robert De Niro that go straight to fucking Amazon Prime. You know what I mean? Like, why would some movie that's got no famous actors in it be in movie theaters all around America? The fact that it did as good as it is, is fucking yeah. incredible. Because I'm sure the budget wasn't gnarly. And I'm sure that it's exceeded <clears throat> expectations with regards to that. Like the moment they sold the thing to YouTube, they were probably way in the green. So like, I think uh, it's it's a, it's an impressive thing. And uh, I just wish that more people would have got to see it, you know, or if it would have went to Netflix because yeah. everybody's got Netflix. I, I don't have YouTube red. So I had to like wait till someone comes over to get it. But like if everybody had Netflix or, or if it was on Netflix, it would be something that I think everybody would have seen like right off the yeah, bat. Yeah, I sure. feel like shit on Netflix gets as much energy as movies and theaters sometimes. Yeah. Like people would just be talk. everybody will be talking about Stranger Things like as much as anybody would be talking about like a movie. Like a movie yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Stranger so. Things. Awesome. But and, and there's multiple series like that, like Narcos, like when shit, something that is good that's on Netflix, everybody talks about it and watches it. So I was hoping that they would get there. Fuck, do you know they canceled there now? Hey man, I was talking to somebody about that yesterday. It's kind of trash, but there's a um, the Marvel streaming. Yeah, there's streaming. the specific reason for that is is that, and they won't do a Daredevil season four because they don't want you to have to watch three episodes or three seasons of one thing on one service and then one on another. But they own the rights to the character and they're going to keep the character active. So there's gonna Daredevil is gonna pop up in one of those Marvel streaming service shows. I don't know what exactly they're going to do because they're not going to do another Daredevil season, but they'll probably do like a Heroes for Hire thing, and then they got him. They'll have him jump in or something like that. Like, I I know they're not going to. They'll get rid of Danny Rand's ass. They'll be like, "Fuck yeah. you, Dan. We don't need Danny Rand." But they'll keep Luke Cage. They'll keep uh, Daredevil. And they'll Jessica keep Punisher. Jones. They'll keep Jessica Jones. They'll. It, they they're not going to just like recast and recreate those characters, yeah, yeah, yeah. but they won't do those series down the line. And here we are. Talking about comic books. Sorry. I get excited. I get excited. Yeah, about that shit's uh, don't even start it. Uh, let's do uh, let's do the video questions and then we'll uh, we'll do bar pong and fucking uh, let the chat come up with something fun. Let's do it. Lily's butt is just right here, homie. Just they they did Iron Fist correctly. Iron Fist was trash. Terrible. It was trash. Um it was just why Danny Rand was like the character, the guy who played Danny Rand, the dude who played Loris from fucking uh, Game of Thrones was such a unbelievable martial <clears throat> artist. I was watching, and I don't mean like unbelievable, like good. I mean like not, I didn't believe him. Uh, watching, I was watching that show uh, Into the Badlands at the same time as that one's on. And that one's the lead dude in that. It's like, he's, bah, he's like all tight with his fucking movements and shit. It's a Netflix show? No, it was a, a AMC show. 
but it was like some super karate ass show and they had the illest fight choreography. You but this dude the, was like, he's so tight with this shit. And then I go straight to watching Danny Rand. Danny Rand looks like he's doing Tai Chi and shit. It's like <laughs> fucking lame. Dude. You, you fuck with, um, uh, with, with the fucking preacher? You yeah, preacher? preacher's tight. This fool said, do we watch Happy? Uh, I I never seen it. I know Someone it was on Sci Fi. It it's on Netflix now. I'm certainly gonna watch it now that it's on Netflix. It's funny how that shit what works. It? It's a it's based on a comic book. It's about a fucking detective, and he kind of goes crazy, and he's seeing his mm. daughter's uh, unicorn, and and it's like an animated unicorn that's like talking him, talking to him, telling him to do fucked up shit. But it looks fucking tight. I might just start tonight, dude. Somebody I heard it was, was sick. Yeah, somebody was just talking about it. I heard it was sick, and, and like that's what I'll do. I'll wait until it gets onto Netflix, and then I'll be like, "Fuck yeah, I'm watching all this shit." Netflix is like, uh, what it's like, it's ruined me for TV because I don't want to wait for fucking like a whole yeah, series to drop. I want to watch it all at once. I let them stack up. I gotta, which reminds me, I gotta finish. I gotta finish the fucking TV show, Profession, that HBO show, the fucking Westworld. No, no, no. It's like about Oh, Zan Aykroyd. It's about pimps. Yeah, Pariah sucks. <laughs> it's about pimps and porn stars. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Deuce. The Deuce. The Deuce. Five, I watched the whole first season and yeah. I didn't watch the second season. I'm like oh. halfway through the second, but I, I was like so tired of waiting for like every. I was watching it weekly and then I just let it stack so I gotta finish it up. All right, let's do some video questions right now, sure. and uh, we'll just do it like this. So it'd be easy enough. Yeah. Low tech, but so deaf. I mean, we do this shit. <laughs> All right. Yo, DVD show. It's your boy, Irish Rasta. Oh, okay. Just out here, just outside of Vancouver. Look mm -hmm. at that beautiful lake. Uh, psych. Just kidding. It's a postcard, you fucking idiots. <laughs> Vancouver. But uh, I didn't Got me. Video while I was there, so I, I thought, fuck it, I'll just make one now. Put it on the list. Um, quick right. question for you guys. Let's get right politics there. politics into it, but I just was thinking the other day, it seems like battle rap is like almost an answer to PC culture. Like, oh, we can't say retard, we can't say faggot. Like, okay, well, we're going to set up a specific game where all we do is call each other retarded faggots. <laughs> So do you think that battle rap is more likely to be shut down and demonized by social justice warriors, peace, politically correct types, or do you think it's more likely to be co-opted uh, and adopted by fucking like alt-right type dudes mm. and who use it as a place to essentially say things to piss off? people who don't want them to say those things like i'm sure there's a little bit of that in battle rap already like you're probably oh, yeah. the sort of person who doesn't like pc culture if you want to yell faggot at someone but do you think battle rap is likely to fall one way or the other because these days sometimes i hear like when i hear disaster say i am hitler the real heinrich himmler zig heil to your wife and sister like when i hear someone just say that and everyone cheers i am so amazed that this hasn't like made it into a fucking huffington post article where it's like <laughs> oh my god these fucking uh, alt-right misogynistic anti-semite racists like i'm absolutely amazed that it hasn't got there but i'm also kind of amazed at the same time that it hasn't devolved into just like actual assholes just saying actual <laughs> shitty things to people because they're being shitty. So, yeah, what's your opinion on that, guys? Do you think battle rap is more likely to go one way or the other? Do you think battle rap is an answer to something? It's an interesting topic. Shouts out for doing the show, guys. Peace. Liam, always with the good questions. And that actually works surprisingly well. I could put it right here and then I could see it and I can hear it hella good. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, interestingly enough, I mean, like, that was my issue with the whole fucking, um, the, like, the young Republican shit, is that wow. I felt like that's exactly what that was. I felt like that was people using, like, this thing that we created uh, to and, like, imparting it with some, like, sideways, like, bullshit that, like, I don't believe in. You know what I yeah. mean? Or, like, it, like, I mean, politicizing anything is fucking lame to me, right? And, like, you, there's nothing more political than calling yourself the young fucking Republican. <laughs> but like that, it like the, I'm obviously like, I'm not someone who's like a, it's funny. Cause I'll get called a social justice warrior by like those dudes. But at the end of the day, get called that. Yeah. 
at the end of the day, like I am someone who screamed uh, faggot on camera a bunch of times. You know what I mean? Like certainly uh, not something I fucking do in 2018, but uh, I'm not like trying to get those battles erased from YouTube or anything. I, I think like someone like Solcon is like pretty ashamed of his past in yeah. battle rap. And like me, I'm not because I feel like my actions as a human being speak louder than uh, anything I said in a battle. And I've had plenty of opportunities to like be a real people, a uh, real person on camera. I've been, I've been real people, shit. Um, but uh, that being said, like I just, I, I, I didn't like the idea of people using um, the like the freedom of battle rap as an opportunity to like preach some like sus racist shit because that's what it yeah. felt like to me like it was like even if it's not like rate like traditional racism where you're like you don't like specific people for their culture but it like weird shit like when that dude jeff was like explaining himself and like how in this in the video he's like uh passwords and his white wife and <laughs> like and his fedora and then like I originally am like thinking, oh, this is like traditional racism, like where this fool is upset that this fool has a white wife, right? Word. But the reality of it was it wasn't traditional racism. He was saying that passwords is more of a nerd than him because his wife is white and he wears a fedora, <laughs> which is still like a sus view on race, right? It's not like you're straight up like racism, but it's like, that's that weird kind of energy that you don't want to see imparted into something that I feel like has a lot this of like. It's going to come off like, you know, weird, uh, weird to everyone. Who, yeah, I think it did. Gonna, People yeah, watched it and were like, whoa. But. Uh, I myself have never been like a huge fan of like shock value type shit in general. Like I've said some, some, some stuff, you know, like I used. I used the F bomb last year, you know, when she was starting to get off. Mm -hmm. I used it in Toronto against Chrome. And after that, I haven't used it since. But I don't know. It's just like, I felt like I just feel uncomfortable using it because, like, I know, like, it's not like I'm being, I don't, like, I just have personally no people who are, you know, like gay, would be like, offended by it. Yeah. Like, right. So I don't want to say something that I know someone that would be offended by it. It's not even me, if I know what it means. It's not me. Or I know what I mean. Trying to give it, give it into fucking political correctness because I still talk my shit. It's just like I personally know people who are like, you know, like gay and like. like and maybe you didn't before. So your attitude <laughs> has changed because that's my situation is. And it's is just, that like, it's it, just like for me, like the, it's, it's like a cheap shot. Like. Uh, saying the F word or whatever is kind of like it's like a cheap shot or it's just easy. I grew up like honestly, like I grew up in in Oakland where everybody was dropping n bombs. I was dropping n bombs like in Oakland. You know, we were yeah. all like the Bay has always been like just one culture. Very liberal in the way that and, people use the word too. As long as you're not a white dude, you're pretty was, much uh, you got to go. Those Mexicans, Asians, blacks, we were all saying the n word. And, Everybody was just like, but that's not something you still do. Yeah, and I, and I just it's something that I myself, before even the whole PC shit, like fucking started happening, or I don't even consider that part of PC shit. But it's like, I mean it's the same kind of like it's in know, the same, same yeah, ball park. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? and it's just something that me like I just felt like uncomfortable saying like as I got older and like you know uh, and kind of like feeling the same way with the, with the with the f word and even though i called chrome that but i definitely when i wrote it and said it to chrome i definitely felt like i was just taking a cheap shot it was just easy for me like to rhyme it with, with, with what i was trying to tell them you know yeah. like but i've never been like hella Hello, PC shit like that. Yeah, I'm like. Have you, you ever know. been called a social justice warrior? Do we'll, have, has anybody ever like set, called like accused you of that shit online? No, no. it's because I don't. I don't get involved with the whole with anything online at all. Like usually, I don't either. But I definitely have been called a social justice. Like I don't. I don't go online and like uh, talk shit about the president, even though I know I don't rock with it. You know, I just not one of those dudes who like who's outspoken about things politics and like i don't 
I don't care. Like I'm just, I'm just existing. Yeah, I think um, uh, it's more likely to be. Uh, I feel like it's corny too. To at the same time, I feel it's, it's just as corny when people are out there shouting "fuck Trump," making whole songs called "fuck Trump." Bang! Like, That's what I was gonna say. Like it's, it's just like the, it's it's both sides of the coin yeah. suck, right? So like, it sucks to be like uh, really racist and then using politics or even battle rap as an opportunity to like express your racism mm -hmm. because you have like this is a world where we can do that shit or it also sucks to be like telling people how, how they have to think what things they can say yeah. and what things they can't say and like being super just like a uh, sensitive puss about like everything that's yeah. uh, uh like taking everything to the ass instead of just like being like oh that's a joke I'm that's funny like, you know I'm what like, i mean I it sucks on like, both sides i'm right in the middle because like I, you know, as much as I don't like saying, like, uh, whatever the F word anymore, or like, fucking, um, as, as long, as much as I don't like using those type of terms or whatever, der, what is it, der, derogatory? Derogatory, or, yeah. Or I don't know, it's like, it's that, that's really hate speech, legit, yeah. like, it's hate speech, you as, know what I as mean? As much as I don't like that, like, I don't, I also don't like the whole, uh, people fucking just digging up old ass fucking shit you said. Uh, 10 years dude ago. the fun do you know what's hilarious is that nick cannon was pulling up tweets I've from fucking that. amy schumer and i was fucking, happy about it like, that's well dude like, what happened though do they lose their jobs do they no. get in trouble no because they're white chicks yeah. so it's all good for them to be calling people fags and but but if you're a black dude and you call someone a fag you're losing all your jobs i mean yeah. like it's so trash it's and that's that that that's that thing that's the thing about the other side of the coin the social justice warrior shit is not fair. It is not evenly distributed. It's pretty much like focused on specific groups as far as far as like, you know, like some shit's okay and some shit's not okay. You know what I yeah. mean? Like, the, and it's always been, you know, what's funny is, is like in, in a way battle rap is like that too. Like we've always said it was okay to make fun of Asian fools and Mexican fools yeah. and every, everything else. But there's very specific ways you can't make fun of black folks. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's it's this is black culture. We're hit this we're in hip hop. What you know what I mean? What up? So it's like uh, you know, it's it's uh I think it's it's just a matter of fucking like if you're this is what I always said, because like Caddy was like the craziest dude as far as like the things he would say, but that dude would walk around and everybody knew who the fuck he was and everybody showed yeah. him respect. I think it's just a matter of like being who the fuck you are and being a, a fucking good person and, and it's whatever. If you could, if you, you could be a good person and be in a battle and call someone a faggot and it doesn't necessarily make like, your, <laughs> a, a, a trash bag. You know what I mean? Like, but I it's like Caddy was just like, he knew what the people wanted to hear. He knew what the fuck. He, he liked the, he, he liked to cross the line. Shit. He was yeah. a habitual line crosser. He liked to look on people's faces. He used to do shit to make me uncomfortable. Like, like, in a 7-Eleven or like in a grocery store because he liked the way yeah. it made him feel to make me uncomfortable. You know what I mean? Like that. So like that, that to me is like, okay, it's not just like, it's not that like I'm hiding behind battle rap in yeah. order to be racist. It's like, I'm using this as a tool to make people uncomfortable because that's what yeah. I enjoy doing. I thought that was sick. So, yeah. but whatever, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think the social justice warriors are going to shut us down. And I don't think a bunch of racists are going to infiltrate us because I think uh, they, they talk about pariahs, <laughs> different in a, in a in a fucking fake account. You know? Oh Who's man! Pariah? <laughs> oh man! Who's I think Pariah, Pariah is just not going to come around at all for a while, Susan? man. I, I don't think he's just going to be around anymore. We just might not see him anymore. And that's sad because I told him, I said, "Hey, you could just come stand and run up front of three rounds of this kid, and I won't tell nobody nothing. Like I'll never." expose this if you just come and stand in front of three rounds of this kid but if you're gonna lie to me like i'm a fucking sixth grade biology teacher oh, then i and and be coward and not show up then i'm gonna tell everybody that you're a liar that's just what it is um, sixth grade biology? no i'm just saying that's like that's what you tell sixth grade uh biology teachers you say fucking uh <laughs> i got strep throat i can't come to the desk because i got strep throat and then your teacher knows you're lying because that's that's like the oldest fucking lie on the planet Earth. Um, all right, one more question. What up, Dirtbag Dan? Shut up. Hold on, Andrew. Check. What was that, Andrew? What up, Dirtbag Dan? Show. Welcome back, motherfucker. Yeah, almost. Hey. Kinda. Good to have you guys back. 
stoked. Uh, first off, shouts out to the fucking Ruin Your Zay event. Yeah, that was shit dope. was fire. Right. Uh, so, sending in a video question for the return of the show. Um, Two part question. Uh, one, who do you think would win in a fight, Goku or One Punch Man? Ooh. Saitama. Probably butchering the pronunciation on that. No, no, uh, you're right. Two, good. Do you guys think with uh, body gaining some momentum and some exposure, are we going to see a bunch of motherfuckers show up in, in tryout battles? that have no business being there <laughs> um, coming out trying to freestyle since for whatever reason they portrayed most of the battles in the movie as freestyle ah that that right. yeah I always love that I love when people think that written battles are freestyle and I've literally never corrected somebody when they add, when they told me that I freestyled all that shit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, people were like, man, that's crazy how you freestyle all that shit. I'm like, yeah. I don't, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't to <laughs> I've never, I've never like, no, we actually write. Like, if you think we freestyle, homie, I'm not going to like ruin Christmas for you. I'm not going to tell you Santa Claus ain't real. Like, Does Pastor write that stuff? Like, no, nah, man, he comes up with all of it right there. <laughs> all, of it, all the time. Um, uh, well, we were talking about this as far as like, do I think that a bunch of people are going to try out because of body? I kind of thought they were, but then they didn't. <laughs> it's like, it's pretty much the same amount of people asking to try out. So unfortunately it didn't have, uh, the effect that I would have liked it to have. Um, not even, it didn't really even add any kind of notoriety to the events being like, oh, the people from bodied or at the battle. Like, yeah. I don't think like, I would say that probably, you know, we did decent numbers, but we didn't do any more than we do ever. So I don't yeah. think, I feel like bodied had zero effect on like the, the out, like changing. Cause it's not like anybody would, was even talking to me about it at the event. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's just battlers would talk about it. Like, but not like random fans or anything like that. So yeah, no, I, unfortunately not. Um, what was the other? Oh, Goku and Saitama. <laughs> fuck. Um, Goku. Oh, fuck. Yeah, man. I don't know, though. Because I don't know if anybody... Okay, so this is the thing. Goku usually needs to get fucked up to level up, right? Like, that's the program, right? Like, he gets fucked up, and then he levels up to that person's yeah. level or and beyond, and then, that's, and then he wins, right? But I don't think, like, if Saitama hits him... It's over. To be fair, like I don't, uh, I don't never watch one punch. Oh, you! It's fucking amazing. Probably the best anime ever. Um, but that's a. I I don't know. Like, okay, so the question is: Is does Goku survive Saitama's first punch? If Saitama hits Goku, and and Goku lives, then Goku will beat Saitama eventually. But he could just fucking get turned to fucking dust and mush with a single <laughs> punch. So that's that's what I think right there. So bang. Goku. You want to do bar pong? Oh, dude, me and fucking Cody found this dope ass anime on Amazon Prime called Goku Midnight Eye. Has nothing to do with Dragon Ball Z. Uh, cyberpunk anime from the 80s. Uh, titty bitch with a motorcycle back and a little <laughs> robot dude riding her. Shoots blazers out of her mouth. Fucking pe naked peacock bitch making people shoot themselves in the head. Fire. Pick that up. Cop that. Yeah, um, fuck you, Lucifer. Oh, uh, one thing I wanted to talk about before we do bar pong. Uh, what? He's talking shit, fool. Fuck, Caddy. Oh man, we're we gonna do that dumb shit. All right, that's it's all good. I'll just get rid of this, dude. Um, let's put user in timeout. What a dumbass. Peace out. Peace out, bro. Shit. You know we could just stop you from doing that. Just block you forever. Um. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what was I gonna say? Fucking, um, we got an event, guys. We got, uh, like I promised, we're going to be doing one uh, live battle event from the studio in San Francisco every month. I'm gonna try to have at least three battles on the card every time. This time we have a fucking fire card lined up because we didn't have uh, Remy D versus Thesaurus at Ruin Your Zay because Remy D was sick. We got, bang, 
Remy D versus Thesaurus, along with brrr, Bang Showcase versus Reverse Live. And as an added bonus, a new battle that was not planned at all, we have Gray Fox versus Knight the Poet. Bang. So three battles lined up. We might even add another battle to that card. Uh, so stay tuned. Uh, it's going to be live on YouTube. It's going to be free for everybody. But they're like swimwear, boy. But, but if you're a $5 counterproductive patron, after the battle, you will get to tune in and see an incredible bar pong tournament with everybody on the card. So you're going to have myself, Reverse Live, uh, Showcase, SM is going to be in the building, um, you know, uh, The Source, Remy D. All of us are going to play bar pong. It's going to be fucking epic. Cracking. And only counterproductive patrons at the $5 level and up will be able to watch that shit. So if you're already a counterproductive patron, then you're fucking stoked. After the battles, click on over to Patreon and you'll get to watch bar pong. If you're not, then you should definitely sign up because not only will you get to watch the exclusive bar pong, but you can watch all of the battles from Ruin Your Zay right now. They're all up, including SM versus Incredible is live on Patreon right now. Go peep that. Patreon.com slash counterproductive. And it only cost five dollars, ladies and gentlemen. Five dollars. get the Yeah. People are trash. Um, uh, that so yeah, uh, guys. January twenty fifth, and then we'll we'll do another one in uh, February. We'll do another one in March. We're gonna do one every fucking month. We're gonna do a live battle, and there will always be some kind of extra bonus content for y'all, whether it be bar pong or uh, whatever. Actually, what I was gonna say to these motherfuckers because we have the busiest week ever cracking right now. Um, Sunday. We have the Punk Rock Flea Market going down in San Jose. Uh, my my buddy Eric Powers throws this shit. It's so fucking fun. We they do it at the Ritz, same place we do uh, uh, Battle of the Zay. They fill the fucking place up with vendors. All these crazy tables and people are selling like records, fucking uh, t-shirts, fuck all sorts of gear, like homemade stuff. Uh, so Sunday or Friday? It's a Sunday. This is Sunday, this Sunday at Ritz during the day, 1 to 6 p.m., Punk Rock Flea Market. There's also bands playing. There's bur burlesque dancers. And we're doing comedy. Um, I'll be mm. doing comedy. Uh, Rory will be doing comedy. Ryan is going to be doing some comedy. Mm -hmm. And a whole bunch of other comedians from San Jose. Uh, Shannon Murphy, Pete Munoz. Um, uh, oh, it, it's going to be sick. Wait, which Rory? Uh, Rory Campbell. The guy, Rory, who fucking... Uh, Hangs out with us, does the podcast and stuff. Oh, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, uh, all of us uh, doing comedy at the Punk Rock Flea Market this Sunday. I'm going to film some of the sets and I'm going to make them uh, available only for our $5 patrons. So every single Fine. week, I'm going to give you guys some bonus content uh, for being uh, patrons and fucking helping this engine run. And this week, that is going to be some live comedy. So Sunday night. Uh, log on to Patreon and you'll get to watch some stand-up comedy. And uh, it's just for you because you guys are the best fucking fans on earth. Let's bar pong it up. Let's fucking bar pong it up. Let's do some bar pong. Oh, my God. What do you guys want for uh, – give me a phrase for bar pong. Phrase it up. <laughs> Green Ranger. Ooh. Green Ranger. I don't know. Mm. That's too easy. Old ass script. Old ass script. Oh, that's all right. Australopithecus? I can't do that. Lock them. <laughs> uh, that's Sunday. Oh, we can't do pariah ones anymore. We got off on pariah last week. Um, Cholo Goth? <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, I feel like there's not uh, 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 too much that rhymes mm -hmm. with Cholo Goth. What about Takashi69? Cambodian Chris. Takashi 6'9. Ooh. Takashi 6'9. That's a hard one. Uh, okay, let's do that one. Takashi 6'9. Uh, mm. uh, Thunderpaw. Okay, let's not do that one because I couldn't think of one right off yeah. the bat. Uh, Treacherous <laughs> Weasel. Treacherous Weasel, nah. Arcane did that one to the dust, man. 
Oh, shit, Sam mm-hmm. Dean, you're the man. What do you call a chicken looking at a piece of lettuce? Chicken Caesar salad. It's pretty good. It's not a bar pong phrase, though. That went over my head, to be honest. Yeah. It's like Whoopi Gobert. It's chicken and lettuce. So. Nintendo Switch. Nintendo Switch? Hmm. No rap. Uh, Nintendo Switch. Uh, wasabi with lime. Romaine uh, lettuce. Hmm. Okay, let's do romaine lettuce. Romaine lettuce. Your bitch is into bald dudes. She's got a Rogaine fetish. <laughs> uh, you know, I probably serve you, but I don't play tennis. Ooh. Uh, when my when my nails be looking all glossy, she said my toe game the wettest. <laughs> Uh, yo, they call my dealer Cocaine Dennis. <laughs> oh, uh, you don't want to get hit with that show tame Pettis. Yeah, <laughs> yo, it's show tame. Take a look at my gold chain necklace. Oh, uh, I don't have one. Uh, uh, are you familiar with the the Master Roshi's Karate School? Uh, Go Kane reps it. <laughs> Go Kane. Go Kane. Go You didn't no. know that Go Kane is when. Uh, go Tin and Go Han and Go Tang say all oh, this. Go Han, Go Kang. Okay. Yo, uh, mm, fucking, uh, yo, the other day I watched a movie that Showcase rented. Okay, okay. Shouts out to Ricky for running that movie. Um, I'm at I'm at the gas station on Halloween, getting propane headless. Uh, you can see me. You can catch me. You can catch me on both skates shredding. <laughs> I be doing no gain deadlifts. Whoa! G Day from Melbourne, Australia. By the way, okay, then why did a chicken cross the road? Because Christopher Reeve was about to to any was about to anytime soon. He was. That's a chicken joke number two. Damn. <laughs> Yo. Chicken jokes. How my bitch be off Coldplay Wettish. Ooh. Uh Uh, give it show, show me breastus. <laughs> show me, show me, show me, show me, show me, show me breastus, show me breastus. Shouts out to my, my fucking G from Melbourne. My, my bitch had a crochet headage. Ooh. Uh, oh, man. Oh, man. Don't say lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I'm out. Uh, I was eating lo mein. <laughs> Let me cheat. No. Nope. You was eating low main precious? <laughs> <laughs> they call me low main precious. They call me low main precious. All right. Um, all right, let's do another one. Let's do another one. Yeah, that was this one. Oh, no shame fetish. Wow. We missed out. Shout out to Jolie. We missed out on that one. All right, we're gonna do one more at Bar Pong and then we're gonna get out of here, guys. 
Uh, give us some. Give us a fucking dope ass phrase. Post game credits fire. Post game credits. Wow. Oh, bro, claimed Memphis. God <laughs> damn you, chop liver. I'm always, dude. It's amazing how some people don't get it, and some people get it so yeah. fucking much. Some people get it better than me. <laughs> um, okay, what else? Comcast lagging. Mm. Uh, OJ sentence. Are they still around? Cabeza. Oh, that that was one of those ones, huh? Cabeza tacos. Cabeza tacos. That's too many. What is Dixon Cider? I don't even know what that is, but somebody, somebody hella, somebody hella want that shit. It's somebody, like, somebody hella want Dixon Cider for some reason. <laughs> oh, you want? Oh, you want Dixon Cider? All right, all right, all right, all right. Sriracha dipping. Rick Grimes is too is too short. Um, mushroom shits. Hmm. Okay, mushroom shits. Um, uh, catch me on a big ass diving board. I might bust two flips. <laughs> um, I'm off the l- that lush do shits. Ooh. Uh, she said you going on a date with me. I was like, what you bitch. <laughs> Um, I got in a compact car. It wasn't much room fit. I hooked up with this. I hooked up with this bitch from Mars. She took her shirts off. Just two tits. <laughs> Yo, back in high school, I used to run to the lunchroom quick. Ooh, uh, is that how you got them lunchroom tits? <laughs> Fuck, uh, yo, yo, you remember that one dust broom swift? (laughs) 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 If I drink coffee and smoke a blunt in the morning, I'll bust two shits. (laughs) Uh, fuck. I uh, Wu Tang be watching them kung fu flicks. Mm-hmm. They certainly do. <laughs> um, I was uh, Janet Jackson at the Super Bowl. At, at the Super Bowl, Janet Jackson at the Super Bowl, and uh, Paris Hilton on the red carpet. As far as nipples coming out go. <laughs> I just two slips. <laughs> I was like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> just two slips. <laughs> just two slips of the nips. Um, yo. I was on the... I had to give him that drum smooth kick. Ooh, Jesus. my dad fucking clogged the toilet, and I but I he, I it came it came through with the fucking plunger, and I was like, just use this. <laughs> Yo, I do so many rebuttals. You should see me run through flips. Ooh, flips, bro! I run through flips. Um. Uh. Do you like? Sitting over there, you want to switch? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I think I got enough room, kid. Ooh. Uh, um, what about uh, um, I like I I like the dude's quotes. But I'm way more of a fan of Sun Tzu's flicks. Mm. All the movies he made, you know. What about your boy that used to do the clothing? Did, gr- did that grunge do to quit? <laughs> Shouts out to Grunge Tofu. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, dude, Max Holloway against Ortega was on that one-two shit. Mm. Whew. He gave that bum few fists. Uh, are you going to eat those crumbs you missed? <laughs> You gotta say that like you're British. Oh, you're going to eat those crumbs you missed. Uh, mm. uh, uh, he only had uh, two potato chips left. And uh, the little British homie was like, just two crisps. <laughs> Ironically, I've never loved Cupid. Ooh, that one's hard. Fart on a nun. <laughs> what, did, what did he say? Sam Dean is going off. He said, fart on a nun. They have to forgive you. <laughs> then they have to confess like, forgive me, father. This guy named Sam farted on me. I acted like it was nothing, but it was really smelly. I lied, father. Jesus, this is, this is I think he's Australian and he's farting on nuns. <laughs> That's a pretty spectacular way, I think, to fucking cap off this show. Yeah. So uh, this was a very Essam special because Essam is very special. Uh, like I said, everybody knows is going to fly into town on Wednesday. Shout out night. Flex. So, uh, you know, yeah, shout out the champ, Mad Flex. You the man. Um, he said, after Jenny died, who was Forrest Gump's new chick? Oh, <laughs> damn you, Mad Flex. All right. That's all my battle. Man. Yeah, I know. Um, so check it out. Uh, everybody knows it's going to be here. Expect us to do some kind of a live stream on Thursday at some point. We'll either uh, film a live stream or if we still have fucking no internet, we'll film a Something like this, and then I'll, I'll upload it and premiere it on Friday morning. So it's gonna be fun. You're gonna get some content from everybody knows, and if you're a patron, you're gonna get some comedy at the end of the week. So uh, if you're not already, sign up to Patreon.com/slash Counterproductive. And actually, this episode right now that you just watched will only be available for patrons until we drop the next podcast on Friday. So uh, if you want to go back and rewatch it, or if you didn't get to watch it and you're watching it now, it's because you're a patron and we love you and you're the best fucking human being on the planet of Earth. Uh, shouts out to Ruin Your Day. Thanks. Uh, shout out Pixie. Shout out Blue. Shout out EK. The whole fam. The they whole fam. Uh, the the chat, champ, man. Mad Flex. Incredible Flex. is in here tonight. Uh, that might be the next title match, guys. It might just look like that right there. So uh, like I said... Um, We'll see you guys on Friday, no matter what, for another podcast. And uh, everybody knows we'll be a part of it. So that's tight. God bless you, motherfuckers. Have a good one. Peace.